Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 3 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to start adding the furniture. Now we're going to continue working on this. I want to add a door. So let's go to insert, load family again, and then let's go and look for the door. Here we'll be able to add in different kinds of door. I'm going to go to residential and let's add this one for the main door. But as you can see, what we could do is a double door right here. I'm going to click open and I'm going to add the smallest that they have. And then 2000 is the height that I want. So 1500 is the width and then height is 2000. I'm going to press OK. And then once I add it, you type in DR because under architecture, door is a system family. So here you type in DR and you'll be able to add the door. If you notice, it's too big for this one. So what I'm going to do is let me flip this going inside right here but let's edit this type and then let's duplicate this i probably want it to be around 1300 to give it more space and then here the width 1300 and there you go you added or you edited a family again and then go back to insert load family and I want to add the one for interior so we have different kinds right here so interior doors and I want it to look like this so click on open what I do here is I highlight everything. So I select one, go down, and then hold on shift, select the bottom, and then press OK. And then it's just saying that there's a lot of things that you want to load on the, under that family. Um, you just want to say, yes, I want to load them all. And then after that, CM, sorry, DR, because it's a system family. And then here, this is the smallest that they have. What you need to do is go to the drop down and then select around 700. And then we're going to maintain the 2000 millimeters height. So here I'm going to add it right about here. And we're also going to add the toilet. So here, let's go to load family. Go back here into the main and then look for plumbing. Once you have that, go to architecture, fixtures, and then we have water closet. We have commercial and then domestic. I'm go just going to use the 2D. We don't need to show it as a 3D. So I'm just going to click open. CM on that and then let's add it right about here we have enough space and then we need to have space for our sink right here so let's load family go back here we have different kinds of sink so I'm gonna choose the round vanity sink And then press OK. And then CM on that. And let's add the basin right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to probably 650 by 2000. To make it a little bit small. And let's put it right there on that side. And we could just add right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 
click on annotate detailed line we have our thin lines right here and i'm just going to add a line to represent i'm just going to add the line to represent the table right there and then there you go you can also if you want move this one right here and you will have enough space to go by and we could just even push this one right here so that it's not too much on that side so now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to add the curtain wall i think it's easier for us to see where the um the windows will be added so what i'm gonna do is go to architecture click on wall and then go to drop down you want to select curtain wall and here what we're gonna do is we're going to add curtain wall all around here but we need to click on space bar in order for us to go from the interior to from the exterior to the interior because we want the, the glass to be on this side after that I'm going to add here as well I want to make sure that it doesn't snap on there so I'm go I can push this one back like so I always want wants to put caps for the support because it's not all the way windows and then just similar to that but here we could actually push it all the way onto this side and then here as well cs push this all the way right here and then here it snaps there so we just need to pull it a little bit and then actually on this side we could add in the folding to um sliding door or the sliding door itself the folding or the sliding door so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to actually delete it there um, we, we have a family a door family for that so it's easier to just add so i'm just gonna add it later on um, here i'm going to add more so i'm gonna add it right here and also for the stairs so i want my stairs to be shown like that and then here of course we need curtain wall as well on this side and then on this side maybe on this side we don't need to add anymore only on the front because uh, i wanted i want this way to have some privacy right here when you're entering so now in order for us to show this we need to click on modify uh, those errors are saying that it's not shown um, because it's inside the wall so if we check here you won't be able to see the curtain wall or the windows so what you need to do is you can go to modify and then cut geometry you can do this on level one or on 3d view so you need to select the wall first and then the curtain wall and it will cut it wall and then curtain wall you can also do it right here and then click wall and then curtain wall so now you just need to go around and cut all those ge geometry and there you go that looks good 
and then now what we need to do is let's go to 3d i want to set the height so usually the set of heights you select here and then you put it onto the proper height um, this one i'm gonna because our height is wall height is 3000 from levels one to level um two so that three thousand at the same time uh, we will have a floor so that three thousand will minus two hundred so i'm trying to at least remove negative six hundred at least and then from here I want to pull it up a little bit this one should be base offset around 250 and that will apply on all except on this one so now I could align AL and then align all the top portion right there so now it's negative 600 so 2400 is the height of the window and then here because this is a washroom we need to pull it up all the way so only on this side is looking like that and then here al pull it up similar to all of them and then don't forget this one even though there's a credenza there that's fine because that's credenza is for the design and that will look really good and then we still need to create the floor so that it's, it doesn't look like it's uh, floating around. So let's actually do that now. So let's go back to level one. And then after that, let's go to architecture and then floor. And then edit this type, duplicate. And then we could put in floor number one and then press, press OK, edit, make the thickness to 200 and then here what we could put is a stone material so I'm gonna put in stone let's use this fill stone apply OK and then OK I'm going to add the floors into all of this except for the, the kitchen because I want the kitchen to have a different material so after that let's click on pick lines so I'm going to pick it from the interior wall so I want it to be all around this and then this one should be all the way right here I'm gonna cut it there And then here, we could just do it all around here. And then we should just trim this one first. Trim and extend. And then here, pick line again. We could just go around here. And then TR, trim and extend on all of them. Right here, every corner. And 
There we go. We caught it off right here. And then if there's an error, Revit will let you know anyway. So let's just click on finish and let's look at it at 3D on how it looks. We could change this to fine and then here we could put shaded part so that we could see properly. So now that's looking good. I just added right here on this side just because I know. So it looks like it sh I shouldn't do that because it's overlapping. So I'm going to just edit the boundary, delete this, and then delete this ones as well. And then I'm just going to trim and extend right here. And let's see how it looks. Because I was afraid that it won't see here this one. So at least we have a floor there. It's actually the cutout of the door. So it's actually not a floor. It's floor. So I'm happy with that. And then let's add in another one. So click on floor. Edit duplicate and then here we just need to change this material to another stone material so I'm gonna use this one granite and then after that let's just use rectangle and click on that so now we have different kinds of flooring. So there's two right here. Uh, we could even extend this one later on if we do, because I want to add maybe the, because I want to have probably an L-shape kitchen. So if I do the L-shape kitchen, what will happen is I will need to pull this one back right here. We have an L shape plus we have the bar top right here or uh, an island right here. So I could, we could probably do that. And then so that it looks different. So for now, let's leave it like that. So for the folding door, um, you will need to go to the to part one description of this series and it will be the second um, link that I'm going to add. Here we have a parametric folding door. You can download that or you can download all of this because everything is basically given. Show in folder. And then just drag and drop right here. Right now it's too big. So what I'm going to do is maybe we have, I'm going to add it here for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the width or the length. So here I'm going to external offset zero. And then here. Let's do width is around 4,500. This is still big, too big. We could have this one around 3,000. For now, uh, in terms of height, around 2400. And then the number of panels, we could put this one at probably four. Press OK, and then you could basically add 
select that and then pick new host and I want it to be going around like that and if we see it in 3d it will look like that it looks really nice and it's the same height as that uh, we could flip it on this side if we want to so I'm gonna flip it so now it looks like that so around four we could even put it as six if we want to but I think it's not good enough or we could put it at two each and it will flip like that but there's an error right here so I'll probably just put it on one side so zero here and then let's see how it looks for six six is looking good as well so I'm probably going to leave it like that it looks good it looks proper so I'm just gonna leave it like that and that's good enough for me so we're gonna stop here for now and continue on the next video thank you for watching and hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below